Okay. I'm blasting along. I got two more to do. D and E, 18D and 18E. I'm on page 32 and then 33. Okay, so the Tao of Taoism, using the Tao Te Ching to improve your life. Uh, Lao Tzu wrote the original. Buddha Jen here. I wrote the uh, uh, this weird variation of it in which I, I, I use his quote and then we answer all these questions to figure out how to integrate that wisdom into our life. <clears throat> here we go, 18D. When oaths and promises are required of workers, government officials, and members, deceit and corruption are already out of control. Oh my goodness. The first thing Trump did was, and it was, it was a landmark, it was, he was asking for people to kiss his ring and swear loyalty and, and things to him. And you see, deceit and, and corruption were already out of control. The moment he entered there and he was trying to do that, it was already out of control. It's not that we had to see it. It was, this is, that, that, wow. When oaths and promises are required of workers, government officials, remember that's what Trump did. He wanted oaths from government officials and members, like of an organization, then deceit and corruption are already out of control. Wow, that's beautiful, Lao Tzu, 2,200 years. And he predicted what we, are so stupid, we put in power. We put in power exactly what he said to never do. Okay, here we go. What oaths and promises have you made or required of others? One more time. What oaths and promises have you made or required of others? Now, I can tell you one oath, and I haven't taken that many oaths, but I swore an oath, and I remember all my oaths, and I remember all my Freemason oaths. All my, any oath I made is an important oath. Those are like in threat of life and death. That's what an oath is. So anyway, one of the oaths I made was that I would never, ever support the Communist Party. And I had to swear that oath in order to become a union carpenter back in 1972, I think. So back in 1972, when I was sworn into the Carpenters Brotherhood, it's the union, it's called the actual United Brotherhood of Carpenters and Joiners. Joiners are the people who work in wood shops. So, uh, when I joined it, I had to swear not only an oath of allegiance, uh, some sort of whatever it was, but the only thing that stood out to me that, that was weird is I had to swear that I would never support or be a communist. I was thinking, well, I don't like to make promises. I'm not going to guarantee, but I just kind of went along with it because I'd been conditioned through the Cold War and everything to not be a communist. But I still had to think twice. It's like, well, what if I decide it's a good idea someday? But I swore an oath that I would never do that. So that's why it really kind of like irritates me to see that we've elected a communist into the, as our president. Our president is doing everything that I was told that a communist would do if they took power or could influence our government. See, we never thought of a communist actually running our country. We always thought that a communist would just merely try to influence our government, influence it to be corrupt, influence it to be dis this evil or you know deceitful or you know do something bad so that's what i was raised to think communism was it was something that was trying to influence our government to not work properly wow and then we elect somebody in there who's the most he's the most in incredible communist we've ever had in our government he has disrupted our government and caused it to not function fired more people and created more vacancies and voids in our government than communists have ever ever been able to do since i've been born as far as i know and I've never seen anything close to this. He has, he has caused more damage that the communists would have like applauded than any other human that I know of. So anyway, that's kind of interesting. So um, where was it? Gosh, I got distracted because that was poignant. Um, when do you make agreements you do not intend to keep? When do you make agreements you do not intend to keep? When do you require agreements from others you don't expect them to keep? When do you require agreements from others that you don't expect them to keep? Um, now, Barry, you're going to make it hard for me to read here. Okay, I'm going to look at your butt in the picture here. <laughs> okay. Um, how do you know you can trust someone? How do you know that you can trust someone? Well, somebody wanted my attention. Hello, Bear. Hello, my little buddy. If I raise you up a little, can I get your head in the camera a little? Okay. Hello, my buddy. Purring away here. Good. He needed my attention. I guess he thought I was giving you too much attention. Hello, my little friend. Okay, I gotta try to scoot him aside so I can read the next one. 
When, when you say, I promise, is that different than when you say, I will? So, oh, I will do that. I promise I will do that. So how are those different to you? Okay. Um, when is it okay to break a promise? When is it okay to break a promise? Remember, marriage is supposed to be a promise. People break marriages. So when is it okay to break a marriage promise? Okay. Um, get hairs all over the place. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, do you obey your father? Get all there. Do you obey your father? Bear, do you obey me? I have to create. Remember I talk about rules and ways to influence him so that he'll, you know, uh, stay out of danger or, or anyway, I have, to, I have to sometimes not let him do what he wants to do or he'll get run over. So I have to stop him from doing what he wants to do. Hey, cat fart. Okay, here we go. Um, do you obey your mother? Okay, now, there's two questions there. Do you obey your father? Do you obey your mother? Okay, so answer both those and then compare those answers and there's another question to ask. Why is there a difference if there is one? Okay, do you obey your big brother? Okay, now we're getting into Confucius. Now, according to Confucius, you should obey your mother as you would obey your father and you obey your big brother as you'd obey your mother. Okay, because it, it, it's kind of chain of command. But your brother older brother actually represents your father and your mother's job is to put your older brother in his position so she wants to train him to be the father that you know you'll always have so if he's gone there's still a father to family and the next and kids will still look at him up to him as the father they will say oh we're a father to family now the older brother takes over okay that's the confucian system um do you obey your employer or your boss hey there's an interesting question do you obey your employer or your boss? If your boss says, hey, go do that, do you obey him? If he says, um, uh, I don't know, go get me a cup of coffee, I'd maybe whatever's within your job description, but if he says something, do you obey him? If he tells you what to do, do you obey him? Okay? Uh, do you obey your spouse? Okay, so if you're a husband or a wife, do you obey your partner? Do you obey yourself? When you make rules for yourself or tell yourself you're going to do something, do you obey yourself? So, hello there, Pear, my little love bug. He's just down here in my lap. Come on. <laughs> i got to put his head up where you can kind of see his ears at least. Uh, yeah, hello, my little bud. Yeah, he just really wants my attention right now. I, I think every day we spend some time and I cuddle with him and I hug him and play with him a little bit. And I think that Maybe we didn't do as much today as we usually do. So, so he just came in and demanded his love. And I got to appreciate that. Okay. So he's right here in the middle of my notebook. He's got those binder rings here. It's hard. He sleeps in uncomfortable positions. Or, okay. Bear, let me see if I can get you more comfortable. See you guys. Daily Taoist out of here. And uh, this was, um, oh, this was the one that is very poignant. This one represents the failing in our, our government and our America. America. America needs to learn number 18D by Lao Tzu. Lao Tzu said, when oaths and promises are required of workers, government officials, and members, deceit and corruption are already out of control. Daily Taoist here.